It was on this day in 1964 that the House passed the historic Civil Rights Act, mandating that racism be made less obvious. President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the bill into law just five months later. From this day forward, blacks shall still be treated unfairly, but it will be in more subtle, institutionalized ways. The bill was caused for momentous change, and across the nation, millions celebrated. The day is finally here. Uh, people can no longer blatantly deny us jobs because of the color of our skin. They have to actually pretend like they considered hiring us. Free at last, free at last. Thank God we're free at last. Except for a vast network of highly complicated systems that work in hard to define ways, but undeniably put us at a disadvantage. It was the culmination of the fight of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who, in his famous speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, said, I have a dream that things will more or less stay the same for the foreseeable future, but at least we can sort of pretend like things are getting better. Bigots won't feel as comfortable yelling racial slurs at us in public anymore, because yeesh, no one likes hearing those. Brooke. Yeah, it's stories like these that make me wonder what African Americans are complaining about these days. Thanks so much for reporting it, Tucker. Any chance I get to talk about Black History Month is an honor. When I was a kid for Halloween, I dressed up as Harriet Tubman five years in a row. Right, you've mentioned that. And we have another breaking news blast on the Ronald North scandal coming to us. A video has surfaced on TMZ.com, a video which appears to have been taken by the Mississippi congressman himself. Now I have to warn you that some viewers may find this disturbing. Let's take a look. This is an official. It cannot be official. I'll spend the rest of my life with you, Juniper. I will trust you and respect you. I will laugh with you and I will cry with you. I will love you faithfully in good times and bad. The moment I saw you at that campground, I knew I couldn't keep my bridle off of you. No response on the video from North as of yet. All right, we have to take a quick commercial break now, but when we come back, we'll take a look at how the White House is responding to allegations that Obama is really an Anzi, the West African trickster god. On the next Onion News Network. November marked a historic occasion in American politics following the election of Dave Tillis, the nation's first openly drunk senator. We love America! The Onion News Network, next Friday at 10, only on IFC. Welcome back to the Fact Zone, an ammunition depot where the soldiers of truth are armed with the deadliest fact. We now go back to a story we've been following in Los Angeles. Onion News Network entertainment reporter Madison Daly is live with us now, but I don't think we'll be needing her. Some good news at last for little Surrey Cruz, who's been harassed by a steady stream of time-traveling soldiers all month long. Her Hollywood neighbors are pitching in to make sure the famous five-year-old stays safe and sound. It's all been organized by her ever-protective father, Tom, who has constructed a 200-foot-tall black vibrating obelisk that apparently relays instructions about what everyone should do to keep little Surrey out of harm's way. Within just a few days, the Protect Surrey program has already attracted thousands of willing volunteers. We talked to one of the helpful neighbors today. Long live the almighty Surrey. None shall deter her, those who try shall perish. My life for hers, my life for hers. So great to see a community coming together like that. And on a fun related story, archaeologists in Egypt have reportedly discovered an ancient statue that appears to be some sort of tribute to Surrey. Very sweet. Best of luck to that little girl in the future. Okay, now you may remember last week when I very briefly mentioned a so-called serial killer who's trying to get coverage on the show with his amateurish antics. Well, we got word earlier that someone strangled 14 homeless men to death and arranged them in the shape of the Fact Zone logo last night. All I have to say is, nice try, buddy. Name dropping won't get you anywhere. Right now, it's time to head over to the Crestbeckler stance. Joe, I understand you're officially supporting a candidate for president now. I am indeed, ma'am. Now, my brother Clayton, he don't know much about government, but he can shoot a dog what's foaming at the mouth from 60 paces, and that makes him good enough to be my president, sure as spit on a dick. And I'm going to have him on my show nightly and have him dance to some fiddle music and pontificate. 
Okay, we're closing the hatch here on the Fact Zone, but we'll open it back up tomorrow. Good night, everyone.